and we'll fly. David off and welcome back to Premier League predictions. So let's look back on how I did midweek. Um, I think I did quite well actually, not based on this, but I said 1 1 in this game it was 3 0 Everton, so completely wrong. Very wrong again here. I said 2 1 Wolves, it was 1 0 Huddersfield, so obviously very, very wrong. Exact score here I said 2 1 Leicester, got 2 1, so perfect. A goal off, almost perfect. Yes, a goal off. I said 1 0 Newcastle, it was 2 0. Um, I did that twice actually, I think. I think I said 1 0 Newcastle the last two games and they won 2 0 both times. That's annoying. Uh, this one I said 2 0 Arsenal, it was 5 1, uh, so I got the result at least. Uh, here I said 2 0 Southampton, I got the exact score as well, 2 0. So there we go. Here I said 2 2. I kind of thought that Palace, if anyone's going to take points off United, I think it would have been Palace, but um, I was clearly wrong there. I said, I said 2 2, it was 3 1 United, good win for them. Uh, here I said 1 1, it was 2 0 Chelsea. Here I said 3-1 Liverpool was 5-0, so I got the result at least, um, and this one, the result again, I said 3-0 Man City was 1-0, so yeah, I, I, I did okay, uh, I got a couple exact scores, so I'll definitely take that. On to match day 29 then, this weekend. Alright, Tottenham v Arsenal, obviously I want to win this game, I want us to win this game so badly actually, um, but I'm going to go 1-1, I'm going to go 1-1. Tottenham's first draw of the season this would be, if that, if I'm right. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I think it could go either way. Um, Arsenal winning the last two games. as I think we've got momentum on our side. Uh, Spurs have lost twice in a row, though, obviously, cause, so they will have a point to prove. Uh, but it will be it will be interesting, for sure. I, I can't wait to see what happens in this game. Hopefully we don't lose, though. Well, if we do lose, we won't be surprised. But still, come on, Arsenal. Please win the game. But I'm going 1-1. I'm going 1-1. All right, Bournemouth v Man City. Um, two one Man City. I feel two one Man City. I think they'll still win, but I think Bournemouth give them a game. Obviously, after Man City, obviously played two hours, then they played again midweek. So, obviously, tiredness might play a part, but I do think they will win the game narrowly. Brighton v Huddersfield. Battle of form. So uh, yeah, Huddersfield beat Wolves. Um, hope. I mean, they need to win this game realistically to be honest and if they do win this game Brighton get dragged in into relegation battle as well um, I think they're already dragged in in a way because they're only two points off 18th as well so they both definitely need need a result um, I'll go for two on Huddersfield I'll go for two on Huddersfield they have not before Wednesday or is it Tuesday before one of the before they played midweek they had not won a Premier League game in 14 match days so it's a big risk here, it's a big risk, but I will take it, I'll take this risk, okay, 2-1 Huddersfield, um, watch it being 2-1 Brighton though, it'll be 2-1 Brighton, just watch. Uh, Burnley via Crystal Palace, 1-0 um, Burnley, let's go for it, let's go for 1-0 Burnley, let's, let's see what happens. Man United vs Southampton, uh, should be interesting this one, I think Man United will win this 2-0, Wolves v Cardiff, another interesting one, uh, Wolves to win it 1-0. Maybe 2 0. Now I'll stick with 1 0. West Ham v Newcastle. This could be a good game. I think, I think it has potential to be a good, really good game, actually. 3 um, 1 West Ham. I said 3 0 for some reason. Wrong, wrong button, Davidoff. Watford v Leicester. Um, interesting clash, this. Um, I'm not sure. Two, I'm going to go 2 2. Gonna go something extravagant. Gonna go two two. It's not that extravagant, but anyway, we've got two two. We've got a derby here. Fulham v Chelsea. They're not far off each other actually, ge geographically. Um, I don't know why I'm saying that to be honest. Look at that form though. Absolutely terrible. I think Chelsea have definitely looked better uh, this week against City and Spurs. They did lose against City obviously, but I think they've definitely improved, and I do feel they will win this game as well. I think a two 0 away away win for Chelsea. Everton v Liverpool, the derby. There we go. I've got a uh, Sky Sports uh, mobile pass for a month so I can watch this <laughs> before it ends, uh, expires next week. Um, well, it, this should this should be a good game, I feel. should be interesting. Um, obviously because it's a derby, but obviously because Liverpool in the title race as well. Everton will probably want to try and stop them. Um, 
I'm tempted to go for a draw. I'm tempted to go for a draw. I don't know why, but I'm thinking I'm thinking nil nil. I, I don't know why I'm thinking nil nil, but I'm thinking nil nil. This could be anything, couldn't it, when you think about it? Because these two teams have had some great games over the years. Um, should I go for a nil nil? Have I ever gone for a nil nil? Like ever? I know there's, there's something on my mind that's thinking, that's telling me to say nil nil. I don't know why, but I'm just thinking nil nil. I'll go for nil nil. Definitely, 100% has got to be wrong. I, I mean, ha, that's not going to happen, is it? But I'm going to risk it, go for a guess. I'm going to say nil nil. It's not going to happen though. But we will see. We'll see what happens in that game. All right, so nil nil between Everton and Liverpool, two nil uh, to Chelsea, two two between Watford and Leicester. 3-1 West Ham, 1-0 Wolves, 2-0 uh, Man United, 1-0 Burnley, 2-1 Huddersfield, a massive risk again, just like a 0-0, 2-1 Man City and 1-1 one, one between Tottenham and Arsenal. So uh, yeah, a few, a few risks in there, but yeah, I, I guess we'll see. I'm not confident about this. I'm really not confident. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.